everyone. We'll continue our discussion on uh, ServiceNow instance. As I mentioned last time, we will go over dashboard creations uh, via reports, via the created reports, and see how we can interact with the uh, details in real time. What you see is a ServiceNow dev instance. And um, the last time with what report we created, I've created another report for change request this time so that we can use the same in our dashboards. So here, uh, let's drop down on uh, all filter and you can select dashboards. Okay. This is the landing page of the dashboard. Uh, here you have multiple tabs, one which shows you the recently created dashboards. Uh, so at this point, we don't have any dashboard created, so nothing pops up here. Dashboards owned by me uh, as an admin, I have logged in, so the dashboards owned by admin the dashboards that were shared with the admin so a non-admin user can create multiple dashboards and you know share it with uh, different users admin being one of them and of course the all tab as the name suggests uh, all the dashboards that have been created in the past certain dashboards are built in and default so you can go over them and uh, understand the widgets the details uh, the dashboard is showing right so we'll start creating the dashboard. So once we create the dashboard, it should be visible in recent owned by me as well as all. So to create a dashboard, click on the create a dashboard button on the top right corner of the landing page. Provide a suitable name. I'll give this as dashboard incident and CRQ. Right. You can assign it to some group. You can order this dashboard if you are creating multiple dashboards. You can leave it empty for time being. Once you are done with this, simply hit submit or you can click and say save. You can see the owner is the admin. Okay, That is uh, me as a user who has logged in. So if you are logged in as a non-admin user and you have access to create the dashboard, uh, your uh, name should be uh, or the role should be displayed appropriately here. Make sure that is accurate enough because uh, users and groups, sorry, users and roles can be restricted via groups. And uh, if you're going to share the dashboard with any user, make sure the user has permissions to view the dashboard, at least to view the dashboard. Right. So once we have created a dashboard, details get populated. The breakdown source will come to that what it is dashboard tabs currently it will have just one tab by default okay once that is created you can go back to the dashboard landing page and see that the dashboard uh, has been created in a your name i mean by the given name there you go under the all sections, you should see the dashboard created. So at the moment, the dashboard is empty. There are no widgets here. What you need to do is add widgets. Here are the add widgets option. And uh, I'll choose the incident details. This is what we created last time where incidents were grouped based on the priority levels. I'll say add. There you go. Let's add it. Okay. Well, we've added the incident details. Uh, if you want to add more uh, no report details simply click on the widget category this is the one which i created for the demonstration purpose simply select it uh, this uh, report contains change request details which are grouped based on the approval state there you go various details right uh, how many change requests have been approved how many have been requested how many are yet to be requested how many have been rejected okay so this is how you see the dashboard once that is in place you 
okay so that dashboard is on auto save mode so you don't have to go and save anything uh, you can create another tab okay here you can add more widgets uh, just remember this is helpful when you are creating you know various reports i'll add or test widget here this have the same incident details but no worries this is demonstration purpose so i'll add it here right you can edit here you can uh, change it to say incidents right or you can make it inc based on priority This is our tab one, uh, the default tab, right? Cool. When this happens, right, you can see here uh, how it is being displayed. This dashboard can be, you know, uh, aligned in different ways. You can go to dashboard properties. Now you can see the two tabs that we have added it appears here. You can add a new tab and it will be displayed uh, on the dashboard. The uh, tabs are visible here. You can access it from this uh, menu as well. Okay, so go to view dashboard. on the settings and you will be able to rearrange your dashboard in the way you want it there are some pre-built configurations usually when you do leadership reporting these things will be very helpful for simplicity purpose we can stick to the default layout that we have currently uh, there are options to change the dashboard color use customized colors the background it's up to the end user how they want to be displayed for the audiences okay now this was about creating the dashboard and what is the speciality of this dashboard okay and now um, let's go back to the home page okay where all the dashboards are displayed yeah so the recently created dashboard is visible here okay so uh, say for example you are now looking at uh, what are the tickets that we have in the queue? Okay, so the dashboard is already doing its job of displaying the details to you uh, based on the groupings that have been selected. Now I know that there are 62 requests or rather there are 62 change requests which are in requested state. So you want to know why uh, it is not moving forward. right? All you need to do is simply come and click on this. It will take you to the table where the default filter will be added based on the selections that you've made on the dashboard there you go all approval is equal to in requested state you see it's all in request this is by requested by right so all of these that you see state authorize so this is where the significance of dashboard is visible okay you go back to the dashboard and you want to take a look at the tickets that are in critical phase simply click on that chart and you can come back and visualize it it takes you directly to the incident table where all the incidents are listed which are currently in critical phase right so this is the significance of having the dashboard on the home page where you know it provides you an interactive feature with all the details here as and how the real-time updates are made to tickets that is to incidents and change requests you should see the numbers change here in the, uh, on the home page dashboard that has been created so it automatically reflects in the reports and that is what is being displayed on the home page so the end user or the admin need not worry about scheduling the updates and um, well rebalancing any queue etc so this was about dashboards right uh, 
you can create multiple dashboards as I said on the dashboard page this is the one we created in this session so it is marked as a recently created one if you go to owned by me it should be visible here this wasn't shared with me so we don't expect the dashboard to be visible here under in the all tabs under the all tabs it should be again visible here okay so hope this was helpful and uh, thank you for watching stay tuned for more updates